We're in 70. All right, so we still haven't founded that city, uh, hilariously. We're slowly getting a warrior and a scout up there. Um, I had a near run in here with Frederick. Uh, didn't realize this until my infiltration finished uh, and saw a unit here. Um, and then it was like, oh, time to, time to skedaddle. I don't think either of us can really found this. This map is also weird. It looks like there might be a land connection here. It's not clear. I just got a scout over here. I've definitely under scouted a little bit this game. Um, getting some scouts up here as well, just to get a couple more scouts out there. Um, yeah, I think one more there. I have a builder temporarily here until he gets to go put on double tutor duty uh, to get this city up and running with a bunch of mines. Definitely need more iron. Uh, definitely get, need to get the econ up. Uh, Tech-wise, I did pick up um, forestry and cartography, so now I can uh, steal research, which is which is really good. Um, it's not that much. It's only 170, um, but still uh, like 33% extra research. Uh, yeah, I can't believe I missed scouting this. Just definitely under scouted a bit. Um, yeah, I think I just forgot to build a second scout early or something. I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, waiting for this to complete to build a temple here. Trying to like connect everything sea wise. I'm going to slowly try to push this border down south. Uh, I don't think it's worth swapping to colonies off of uh, serfdom, but yeah, we can we can just send a line of buildings down this way. Um, since we built down to the coast, uh, the city completely terrifying. Seventy civics a turn, outdoing his uh, fifty-five civics a turn, and uh, getting angry. He's going to beat me to legendary. I think he's twelve years away from legendary, though. He's got incredible culture uh, thanks to those early, early temples. Um, I do not. Uh, I do have temples as well with orthodox, orthodoxy here, so I'm trying to trying to get some of those temples up, especially in my cleric cities. Um, that will help a lot. We are two turns away from citadels. Looks like he's um, getting a citadel on Wasset here. That's I think he was a little behind getting to seven laws. So we're actually equal there. I don't. I'm building a citadel here, but this one's actually the one that's first. Um, getting Palton calves out. Uh, both these cities are now I think fully upgraded. Uh, I don't have ranges, so at some point I will want to get them um, just to supplement production. Not sure when to actually get them. I feel like you kind of want to have them up and running before. You get to seven laws, but getting to seven laws early is so, so important. So not really sure. Um, succession is pretty much secure. Ambition for Agent Orcs just took this one last turn. Uh, once my scouts get in position, I'll naturally want to set up some ambition networks just to see, especially on the front lines, what's going on. Um, and then ideally to steal something here, uh, getting a lot, a lot of returns uh, from that city there. And uh, yeah, could get a lot of returns here, just don't have uh, an agent available. Um, yeah, so I'd rather have them as a governor, uh, really doing a lot of inquiries here. I think I've done four in that city and five in this. Looks like he's got, um, one inquiry so far, he's just starting his inquiry train and this one, uh, no inquiries here as far as I can tell. So we're a bit ahead, although similar and competent. Um, which is uh, disconcerting. I, I'm not ready to fight a war right now at all. And yeah, not sure what's going on with this map. Uh, getting censorship to help with civics wise. Um, tech tree wise, yeah, we're looking at something like this, going to get citizenship. Then I think I want to get hydraulics. Um, and then I will think about what to get, probably compo as well at some point. Um, Probably after hydraulics, maybe before, not sure. Um, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be interesting. We do have uh, forestry, so we can support the the ranges. Um, yeah, need to get better vision of where his army is, what it looks like. So far, I see one light chariot here, pretty well upgraded. Um, yeah, I presume he also started with the order of stuff. So founded here. Um, he has not found the mirror site there, as far as I could tell. Um, so this might be, yeah, I mean, this Inland Sea is just weird, man. Like, it's not one contiguous Inland Sea, it's like five, <laughs> which is great. I mean, it makes for a much more interesting and varying map, but uh, certainly unexpected. So my plans are uh, just continue tucking up and uh, getting 
Alton Cabs and probably cohorts. I'm not sure. Again, want to get eyes on his military, see what's out there. Um, potentially, we could go for pikes at all. Um, infantry square, also a possibility. I don't know. We we haven't committed anything. Um, compo kind of puts us closer to infantry square. Um, not sure we're going to get barding after the adventures with running to pikemen last time. Although, again, unclear what he's doing. He has seven laws. Um, interestingly, he does not have never took uh, doctrine laws. So hmm. I guess he was not in any rush uh, to get those seven laws. Uh, and I did take doctrine. Um, and I know he started with doctrine because that was what he talked about at the start of the game. Um, so interesting. Wonders wise, pretty quiet. He is the Gridzig. I have Oracle Napadana. Uh, would love to get Acropolis at some point. Do not have the resources for it. Um, it's going to be maybe legendary, which means you'll probably get Pantheon. Um, yeah, cities by training, uh, 32, 28. So these two are going to be our main production centers. We need to get a third one up and running. I think this will be enough to really fuel, um, what we need with these two, um, getting, getting some racks here. This might be an interesting third one, uh, getting archives as well in place. Cause it is, uh, plus two per city for scholar leader. So we're at that nice 167 science you can see, uh, source of science really are I think we have an intelligent governor. Um, here. So he's getting that. And then, uh, yeah, Kermit and Parsa. Um, yeah, so really pumping out inquiries, uh, double inquiry. I really like statesmen. This city's like a super powered um, city as well. Um, I haven't even built any civics. Citizenship will help with inquiry, like that's without a courthouse. So we'll probably want a courthouse and a ministry here along the coast. I'll slowly make our way down, maybe get some hamlets down, not sure. Um, families are all pretty happy, except for the clerics who inexplicably converted um, to Persian paganism. I'm trying to convert them back. Really don't want them to be Persian paganism. Like, please stop, <laughs> go away. Um, she's very unhappy. Um, hopefully she doesn't do something insane. Um, Zealot scholar, never fun. I'm trying to convert this guy back. Um, and she is the head of Persian paganism. But I think the way I understand this is worth two points and then everyone else is worth one. Um, so that's three versus three. Uh, they converted uh, at the start of this turn. It looks like the way the event fired, I converted the ambassador. Then um, they converted to Persian paganism because one guy randomly converted to Persian paganism. So not sure. Um, yeah, I want to scout here and settle. Uh, I do have a settler working uh, here for that. That will come and settle that spot. And I'll probably run the Palton cap over there uh, once it gets upgraded to, to clear out whatever's there, probably barbs or something, or maybe a tribe. Who knows? Hopefully not the Scythian tribe. Um, that would be awkward because I do not want to go to war with them. Um, so, yeah, that's... Um, where we are family opinion wise, mill score wise, we're at 2100 um, science production. We are taking off. We went from 89 to 155. That's not counting inquiries. Orders uh, in great shape at 55. Uh, resource prices, you can see food has tanked. Uh, I've been selling food and it's, it's definitely tanked. Everything else is pretty high, especially stone um, and iron and food and wood. Um, so getting some initial lumber mills up here as well will help with wood. Uh, probably need additional quarries. Just feels like this is going to be a great quarry city. Um, and I think I have, uh, yeah, this guy who's just uh, no Delver governors are available. Um, so, but hopefully he'll pick, be able to pick up Delver or something. That would be really, really nice. Uh, but yeah, he might actually just be able to be a third increase height realistically. Um, and we can sort of get these stone cutters here. I just festivaled. Um, and like each of these stone cutters helps a lot with civics, so that could actually be a third, third inquiry site um, if needed. Stats and improvements. Um, we have 132 improvements, lots of mines, lots of quarries, um, 22 workers, um, 15 specialists, four elder officers, two elder monks, uh, and a bunch of smaller specialists. So we've got double elder officer there and nowhere else. 
Um, so we probably need to get some up here as well. Got to judge again, getting these archives for additional city signs. And then I'm going to try something new here uh, with this timeline screen. So where were we? Uh, you can see going back to turn 60, where we left off. Um, so we founded another city there. Um, and then we've uh, had a daughter born, etc. Lots of people dying. We discovered forestry, discovered metaphysics. Um, lots of people dying. <laughs> discovered cartography and uh, founded that hunter city that you saw on the coast there. Um, and discovered doctrine as well. So doctrine, forestry, metaphysics, cartography. Uh, really zooming through the tech tree here, you can see the advantage of just having um, orthodoxy for rushing out inquiries, uh, as well as just amazing civics production here. And this city will soon be strong, so uh, that'll help a lot as well. It's not very great in civics production, uh, but hopefully citizenship will help with that. Um, he is, his leader is a hero, severely ill, so probably not going to be long, much longer. Heir is going to be a scholar. Um, cunning, so um, expect probably peaceful play from him or some attack. We're trying to catch up tech wise. Um, so, and his cognomen is the invincible, uh, which is I think just killing units. Yeah, presumably he's been fighting his fight against uh, the Scythians and the Numidians because he's not at peace with either of them, which means he gets all the raids. Um, I am in this piece with the Scythians. Um, we'll see whether that was a tactical mistake or not. Um, or whether I should have gone uh, diplomat instead of scholar. I think I had that opportunity and I did not go for it. Um, but yeah, so we are, that's pretty much it. And uh, we will see you in 10 turns and see how this game shapes up. Pretty close game so far, it feels like. Uh, so, and yeah, hopefully I'll have settled this city by then. So, all right, see you in 10. Turn 70. And we did have a little one week break in between those turns. So I might not remember all the details. So let's first look at the record or timeline screen. So over these 10 turns, aside from a bunch of people dying and being born, we finished citizenship on the turn we last saw each other. So now we have polis, we have sovereignty, which gave us our seventh law, I think. We also added forestry shortly after, and then after quite a few turns, we had portcullis just last turn. So we do have some information about Rust, what our Alcaraz is up to. We also lost our son, that wasn't exactly what I wanted, but I bypassed him because I took an event to adopt a child to my to the current heir, to the daughter, since she, she had an old husband and didn't have any children at the time, so I wanted to make sure I had an, another heir further down the line. And I was hoping to release him once our current leader died, but he just died in due to a prison riot this turn after we recaptured him as he had broken out before. So unfortunate. Bolo would have been pretty sweet. So this is the guy we adopted, came with Blast. Aiming for an orator in here for our late game warfare. We did get our seventh law, even grabbed orthodoxy this turn. Like, so we are stopping our tribal clearing adventures pretty much, which might cost us this ambition. It's probably a mistake picking that one up. We picked that one up. You can see this in here. Where is it? Thought it was here. Is the ambition three turns ago? Probably a mistake. <coughs> the current ruler is severely ill, so she won't be along very much longer. <coughs> 
So we're expecting this to go away in like 22 turns about. I'm not sure there's going to be enough radars coming towards us. There's of course a chance war breaks or fighting breaks out between us. But I'm not banking on that. It's very hard to push with these. They are slow with only two fatigue. So without ships these will be really slow getting up here and open you up to a counter attack. So Alcaris got to seven laws I think a turn or two earlier. So I saw this citadel only started last turn, so this citadel is behind us. us. Our citadel is done in two turns. And I don't quite remember when, if he had the other strong city already when he finished the seven laws. So I'm assuming this the hunter city is there. Is, is his seat? Can't quite see it. Is the other strong culture because it's a hunter city and there's a bunch of or at least two luxury resources, so this will get lots of culture. So I'm currently assuming he's ahead of us, but one or two turns is not enough to upgrade and move them to the front and launch an attack, or at least a meaningful attack before I can get my own upgrades in and to the front. So we should be safe here, kind of. We don't have many units yet. There's a chance to rush some out with uh, orders, but I'm leaning more towards um, rushing officers with those orders. Like. I'm not doing going to be doing much military movement the next turn, so it's based just workers and rushing stuff with orders through our orthodoxy law. So we need another officer in here that's not rushed yet. We can also rush him with money, but we're not that flush with cash. And orthodoxy also costs a pretty penny to keep active. In here, we're not necessarily looking to add any more officers. We have the hunting shrine in here, so once the stronghold finishes, we can build our unique unit with one level up. But of course, we have less training here. Not too much in terms of terms of growth. We might build our. No, no, we don't. We are Egypt. We don't have the fire shrine. Uh, so, not sure what we're gonna do. Anyway, we're slowly getting our um, Lopamus online already back into the positives. So it's coming online also getting some more our orders online, also going to be focusing on getting some of these ranchers online in these back cities here, just more orders. We are also getting some stone back up since we are starting to build more and more quarries here and here. Quarries and lumber mills are our main priority currently, as well as connecting these coastlines. That's why this rancher is currently getting rushed. This uh, grabs these, grabs the fish, and then um, time merging grabs all these and finishes, uh, closes off this coastline. We're currently building the rancher here, as well as these here. So we're probably also build a, going to be building a rancher in here. The monastery, that's going to be quite a bit faster getting these done. So we can uh, close this off just for getting these units faster to the front line. Same here, building this closes off this coastline, so even building one bireme to get one in here and uh, save some travel time. And closing this up, we maybe want a road or two over here, so we can 
travel up here, but probably once this is closed off and we have the biorame in here, we can travel along here just fine. So in terms of plans, we probably we might be pulling back here a bit, looking at finishing off the stronghold, adding like a fort here and here, so we can have a bit of a defensive line in here. Large ships he will not be doing much. And we'll maybe looking to build like a hamlet or a monastery in front here to get to the coast. And we have two coastal cities for shipbuilding, while he will only have one while he's still at peace with the Scythians. So it's not much he can do. Oh, he, they don't like him? No, it's just... 44 now, it's fine. Probably the color for myself. Oh, Why ever this color would be for myself, I don't know. I'm a bit concerned about his rate of civics. He is getting civics and he doesn't even have any courthouses online because of his monster leader. Nine charisma with eloquent. 70 civics output. And that's with not much in terms of specialist, basically just an elder monk. I'm having two poets, an elder monk, and ministry and courthouse done. And we're only at 55, so we are lagging behind in that regard. I'm not sure how the overall science in other regards is holding up. He has a scholar. Not sure if he has. Um, now I should see if he has, he has archives, so he has metaphysics unlocked, so I should prioritize this, it's kind of hard. I want stirrups for, to get horsemen to have a decent route unit. I kind of want rangers, but I don't think we need to delay these, both because we don't have that much wood yet. and because other priorities and then cartography. So he has this unlocked. He has Spearman unlocked since a turn or so. He doesn't have citizenship yet. He does have doctrine, I think. Yep. I also think he has portcullis as well because here we can still here that still requires martial code, there's no requires portcullis in here, so I'm assuming he has portcullis unlocked as well. So let me look at this quickly. I think we take the scholar. She would also be good, but that's for this scholar is just a hundred science for a reroll, and we're pretty low on courtiers and coming up on tutoring, so this course call scholar will be welcome. Yeah, so then in terms of succession, we have her, so also we could build some archives if we go down metaphysics since they give three science each once we, when we have one uh, scholar as leader we're also looking once we are hitting Greek culture here the mode finishes we're basically going forum three do we really want this I think the mode is Good enough, or well, adds enough to matter here. Such a process. It's another ten hit points and a bit of defense. Do I need this? No, let's focus on science. I think science is more important. There's four marbles in here, so getting another. Another stone cutter, forum two, once we reach week, and then we're going to be spamming inquiries in here as well. Then we have 
our record screen. Let's look. Tunti workers, a bunch of specialists. I'm assuming he's beating us on officers. His Apadana should allow him to rush quite a few officers. As well as he has had orthodoxy for a while too. So I'm assuming he's beating us on training output. Then we did lose a scout. 24 techs and our improvements for monasteries only, but eight temples for uh, quite a bunch of orders. There's some 10 barracks. Shrine's almost done. Military score up to 2-2. Two, two. We've been similar for quite a long time, but that there's quite a bit of wiggle room in there, so he could still be stronger than us. He didn't upgrade his warriors yet. He has spearmen unlocked, but so I guess he's either saving up resources, especially the iron and the training for his uh, cataphract archer upgrades. Or he's waiting to unlock macemen so he can um, kill my spearmen and his that his cavalry has free reign. Which is also why it's important that I uh, get horsemen since then it, I at least have uh, same strength horsemen that can kill the maces. So training up to just somewhat shy of 200. Not sure why our why I don't get a pop up in my single crafts. I've seen it the, in Alcaraz videos that he has a pop up with uh, that shows the exact value. Like I have it for resource prices. As soon as there's multiple graphs, I have it, but for some reason, it's not here. Stone going up. So we've been finishing more wood going up. Iron coming a bit down. Not investing heavily there quite yet, but we need like, a few more. Food's pretty much done for now, although we will be spending some more on our unique unit. Money has gone up. We've been finishing some hamlets. This will be going down though. Next turn there's 70 goes. Goes away again from orthodoxy orders. We're working our way up. Science also been rising quite a, quite a way. And the others are not that important, I think. Families are happy for the most part. We don't know what he is getting as a heir. He's quite a ways away. And his scholar is fairly young still. Really would love him to just not stick around very long. It's, um, I'm hoping to use my, I have a five courage hero to run some treachery missions and disrupt his inquiries. But I need to wait another two turns. There's when the uh, mission fails and destroys the spy network, the scout, in if he's still in there, dies. So I need to wait another two turns and treachery finishes in three. So uh, the scout gets out just before. That will also eat into our money. It's not, it's quite expensive. Like the treachery itself is 400, and if we need to rebuild the spy networks, we'll pay even more. Then, in terms of wonders, there's not been much going on. Stone is climbing up. I would pretty much like to build the Acropolis, but at this point, that will take a long while to pay off, so it's hard. 
hard to justify starting a one right now. We're not exactly flush with these resources. Like a few quick overview of the tech tree. I think we looked at it, at it previously as well. Uh, just giving you the whole thing. Trying to get to boarding, picking up choreography beforehand just to speed us along, and maybe picking up composite bob on the side. Then consolidation, I don't think is um, it's. I mean, it's it's a good tech, but we don't have any camels, which would have been nice. Yeah, despite all this arid land, there's no camels around. Some elephants down here, but um, we could connect these to the city, but it's not, but it doesn't have any mi military infrastructure, so we're not getting any elephants out. Um, in terms of uh, luxuries, there's one lavender here, there's one incense here, and we have a bunch of honey. So we would get three of our resources. There's another lavender and olives down here, but we'll never get them online in any reasonable amount of time. Like this, maybe these olives never. It's like not even in range of the city site. So without tile buying, it's like farm the city. And if we bring a walker along, build a hamlet, build the, <laughs> the improvement, rush out a specialist, it's still like it's still like tangerines after settling. So. It's not happening. And we're doing fine on on, lux on opinions, so it's not like we desperately need the uh, luxuries for opinion. In terms of points, both of us are fairly low still, so points victory is far, far away. One of us has been expanding very much. Not sure if this will change again. Down the road, maybe after, maybe in here, after I've queued up a scout just to harvest some elephants, I uh, can give us some science still. There's some fish around that we could try to harvest for, hope for a science event. I'm not sure if there's some more game. Olives can give us science. I don't see any game that we can harvest, but there's still a land to uncover, so... Kind of waiting for our tier 2 unique unit to come out and then looking at the standoff, but as I mentioned earlier, it's hard to push with these tribal units, so it's, it'll still be hard to attack. So then Afterwards, it's the rush to cataphracts, and we're not getting anywhere close to points before that, I think, even if we start mass expanding again. So, it's kind of down to who gets to cataphracts, and with his um, monster scholar leader, it's going to be we're kind of at a disadvantage right now. So, we'll have to see. So looking to disrupt this, looking to get increase running here and here, probably looking to pick up some archives since we have a scholar leader coming up and text dealing. So that's about it. See you in another 10 turns.